Hi, I'm Dr. Kirk Moss, and with me is Bob Phillips, and we'd like to share with you about Sound Innovations Sound Development, both the intermediate and advanced levels for strings. A great resource that comes free with the book is the SI Online Platform, which includes audio and video resources. Let us show you how easy it is to use. Just go to sionline.alfred.com on any device that has internet access, including your smartphone. Then type in the five digit code you will find in the lower left hand part of the back cover. You can see that the contents are organized by level and within each level there are individual audio tracks and videos. Just play, press the icon and play. It's so easy and the best part is there's no complicated sign in for your students. Here are three ways your students could be assigned to practice with the audio files. I have chosen the C major scale and I'm going to play that at the beginning for you. Now I can go ahead and speed that up by using the advanced tool. I'll speed it up to 1.5 times. I can go up to two times faster. And I can even take it back to 7 tenths speed. Another really great feature is the looping feature. So if I just press play, I can press the loop and I can loop any section of the piece I want. That is a fantastic practice tool for students when at home. Going from slow to fast, we all know works really, really well. Remember that smartphones are the great leveler in America. Almost all families have access to a smartphone which makes it really easy to access SI Online for students. And now Dr. Kirk Moss. Level one in the intermediate, green, an advanced, purple colored book, gives a very thorough presentation of tone development. This level is so easy to assign to students to work on at home using SI Online videos. Let's learn where our bowing lanes are. If you place your bow and put it right in the middle of the string between the end of the fingerboard and the bridge, right in the center, and then move it slightly towards the bridge, that will be the mezzo forte bowing lane. And it sounds. Students can practice the three variables of sound bowing lanes, bow weight, and bow speed using the videos. Have students apply what they've learned about tone using the tone repertoire and the online audio. In level two, level two explores the various kinds of bowing attack strokes that students need to learn for both intermediate and advanced playing. Each new bowing stroke has a video that you can assign to students so they better understand how to execute the bow stroke. Practice the Collet bow stroke. We've already learned to wiggle the string, so now I'll set my bow on the string near the lower portion and wiggle and release on an up bow using very active fingers. And the bow pops into the air like a scoop. These videos work really well when teaching online as students can view them multiple times until they learn the skills. It really gives them an at-home virtual teacher. Using the audio will allow students to focus on each specific articulation or bow stroke. Bob, tell us about level three. Level three presents shifting in a very logical progression, making it much easier for students to acquire skills. I'd like to show you a little bit of the shifting video right now. Let's talk about shifting. 
Shifting is when you move your hand from one position to another on a stringed instrument. The violins are going to learn to shift from first to third position. The violas will learn to shift from first to third position. The cellos will learn to shift from first to third to fourth positions. And the basses are going to learn to shift from first to third to fourth to fifth positions. Once they have watched the video, assigning students to use the video will really help them make their shifts in time and in tune. This is a great time to encourage them to use the slowdown software to take time with their shifts. When they're ready, they can use the speed up function and it will help them to develop shifts in faster tempos. Here's an example from exercise number 89, and this will be at the uh, regular tempo of one one time X. Now if we just slow it down, students can have an opportunity to really take time with their shift. And once they become proficient, so easy to speed it up and let them try it a little faster. And now Dr. Moss will talk about level four. Level four presents scales and arpeggios. Each scale is presented in separate octaves. They all start on the tonic for ease of starting over if you ever need to stop, with fingerings and positions well marked. Students can easily work on scales independently with the information provided. Have students work through each octave slowly using the slowdown function provided with the audio files. Students can use the faster tempos as they acquire more accuracy. Here's the C major scale at regular tempo. A nice medium tempo. Of course, you can slow it down as we've talked about, but what a great Thing that is for kids to practice it at a much quicker tempo. It's great that the students have that control. Now I'd like to talk just for a minute about smart music. Smart music is a fantastic tool for online teaching and learning. All lines in the book are included. To learn more, there is a great tutorial called the Smart Music Academy. Here is what it looks like. You can see on, on the uh, uh, screen uh, what the interface looks like. In Smart Music, students can play any line in the book in the, and the software will assess which notes and rhythms were played correctly and receive a performance score and also listen to the recording of themselves as they do so. The scores and recordings can be sent to you for evaluation. Students can evaluate their performance and submit it. The software also has a built-in metronome, tuner, and allows students to loop sections. Both teachers and students can see each other's written comments on every assignment and student recording. Included are 150 method books, 5,400 ensembles, and thousands of solos. All the repertoire is a great resource for students to have for either personal exploration or assigned as class ob projects. The orchestra repertoire will allow you to have them work on orchestra pieces, even if it is not possible to physically be together in an ensemble. To wrap up, each of us can think of a teacher who made a difference in our lives. Sometimes that teacher was our music teacher. That brings us together as a community. Sound Innovations and SI Online can help equip you so you can make that lasting difference in the lives of your students too.